we're looking at Eminem. I made this slideshow presentation last night while I was going through an existential crisis. I have never seen handwriting like this before in my life. First, I think I'm just gonna list out everything I see and then I'm gonna go through everything and talk about what it means. Firstly, everything is microscopic. Next thing, he consistently uses up the entire page. Very, very rarely does he leave margins for himself. This was the only sample out of all of the samples that I saw that had like any space on it. It's kind of like a thought here, a thought here, a thought here, a thought here. He completely disregards all of the lines of the page. He does not care about the lines of the page. When you zoom in and look a little closer at the handwriting, it's a huge mix of both lowercase and uppercase and numbers. What was so amazing to me when I saw this handwriting is like, A, okay, it's true that I hadn't seen handwriting exactly like this before, but then I zoom in a little closer and I'm like, oh my God, do you know whose handwriting this reminds me of? This reminds me of Tupac's handwriting. Tupac has just like this, this mix of numbers, mixtures of all caps, mixtures of lowercase, like using his own spelling, like changing S's to Z's, really rebellious handwriting, really like I'm gonna do whatever I want handwriting. Very similar to Eminem's handwriting. The other thing I see is I see like a lot of mistakes like this. I'm not sure if it's him crossing out a mistake or him just like all this energy. In general, when you see like these things on a page, maybe he's testing pens because this is like a, a variety of different pens. I have never seen like as many little like squirrels like that before. But anyways, let's talk about like more specifically what this stuff means. Firstly, using up the entire page to this extent. When you use up the whole page, it's a big indicator of like A, using up all of your resources, but it's more of an indicator of extreme frugality. When I see like stuff like this, I'm like, either this is the type of person that is seriously having money problems, or this is the type of person that seriously like micromanages their money spending. The other thing that I'm gonna talk about is how he treats the page, how it's just like a, a thought here, 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 instead of just like r using the lines. I've noticed that I write like that when I'm high, but I'm not, I'm not gonna accuse him of being high because this is definitely not him being high. That's kind of like how your mind works when you're high. You're just kind of like, like, oh, like a thought here, a thought here, a thought here. Oh, I have a thought. But because this is how he consistently writes, I feel like that's just probably how his mind works. All in all, this is a very, very rebellious person. It's the mix of all caps and lowercase. If it doesn't indicate ADHD, it usually indicates rebelliousness. It's definitely like an F you to like how you're supposed to write when you put numbers in and we, when you use unconventional spelling, a mix of all caps and lowercase. Like all of these are indicators of someone who really makes their own rules. The other indicator of rebellious in here is disregarding all of the lines of the page. People like that really make their own rules for better and for worse. I have met people who disregard the lines of the page. They are some of the most disrespectful people that you will ever meet because they do not care about others. That sounds so mean. That's like the dark side of people that don't use the lines of the page. It's like they really don't care about other people's needs. They're like, I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I want. So sometimes it can be like really hard to be around these types of people, but there also is something very admirable about doing whatever you want. It can be for better, can be for worse. That all depends on the demeanor of the person. The size of your handwriting is like the amount of space you're comfortable taking up in a room. People with massive handwritings, they have these like massive charismatic personalities versus someone with much smaller handwriting often goes along with humbleness, focus, very meticulous. So that, that's why I'm kind of surprised that his handwriting is so small because I kind of imagine that his handwriting would be like so so big because you know, he's, he's Eminem. Maybe he he does lean more on the humble side his personality like more than I thought not I haven't met the guy I, I couldn't get a hold of him maybe next time but extremely microscopic handwriting that gets smaller and smaller and smaller that's like a big sign of concern in graphology it's like this person wants to disappear this person wants to make themselves smaller this person does not think that they are worthy of taking up space like I'm not seeing too many other indicators of low self-esteem you do have to have confidence to be able to be as rebellious
rebellious as I see that this person is. I don't know, it just definitely gives off, like I don't deserve to take up space when you have handwriting that is this microscopically small. This was the only sample that I saw where he was like writing over his lines, which I found pretty shocking. I have no idea what to make out of that. When you have really like narrow margins the way that he does, where it's like, although I said that he doesn't have margins, it's very skinny. Like he doesn't expand horizontally. It's very vertical, down, 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 down. When you do that and you like compress your sentences like that, that's a big sign of like loneliness. Sounds really dramatic, but it's like, is the same gesture as like doing this. You're like in this really protective space. You feel like you're not really actual, like actually taking up space. So it's kind of contradictory. I love contradictory handwriting where it's like, okay, this person is super rebellious, but they're also like super protective, but they're also super focused, but they make their own rules. Like I love, I love handwriting like that because it's like because it's like yeah people are contradictory i'll quick talk about the signature looks like a money symbol there's a couple different signatures that i'm pretty sure are authentic because this is definitely the same handwriting and like this feels like a similar s form also it was like signed on an album cover i don't think someone would forge that that's always the thing that i have to look out for when i'm finding signatures is i do have to look out for if something is forged and even though i don't consider myself like a question document examiner like a, like an expert i do have to use like that big basis of knowledge when collecting these samples. I was in a graphology study group. One of the more experienced members talked about how money signs are in your handwriting or in, into your signature. When you like incorporate that, it's an indicator of financial insecurity. That's the only place that I've heard it, but I think that makes a lot of sense. Financial insecurity does go along with all these other indicators of frugality. When you're analyzing handwriting, you kind of look for things that go together and it's like, yeah, try to like trait stack, like the concept of seeing multiple things that support the same, that support your hypothesis. This is his Marshall signature. Even though this isn't his like celebrity signature, I love this signature. Why do I love this signature? Because it's exactly like his handwriting. I know this isn't about my opinions, but that that's a really good trait to have in your handwriting where your signature looks very close to your handwriting because people are very upfront. They're very like, what you see is what you get. And it, it doesn't mean if you have a signature that is different from your handwriting, it doesn't mean you're a bad person, but it means that like, there is some element of like performativeness in the way that you interact with society and that's why it's so beautiful to me when I do see people that just have like their signature is like the same as their handwriting. The other thing I'll say about the signature is it is just his first name. It is not his last name. Usually I notice people omitting last names when they have an issue with the father or there are children of divorce or they just simply like want to make a name for themselves. More often it is usually an indicator of like something going on with their relationship with their dad. So it's like this person feels like a real disconnect between that last name. That, that's assuming that that name even belonged to their dad, which it very well might not in like a very heteronormative society taking a dad's last name, but that's just more common. Uh, and I'll just talk a little bit more about this massive first initial. It's like almost encircling this word in this very like protective way, circling your name and signature it's an indicator of um, self-consciousness and it's an indicator of protecting yourself. The interesting thing about it is like this is the first in initial. When you have a big first initial, it's an indicator of ego, excessive pride, excessive confidence. And then there's this protection happening in this signature. So it, it feels like this persona almost like uses their ego to protect them. If you have a big first initial, sometimes it can indicate just like being a good leader. But when it's like this excessively large, it's like, that's a big ego, very protective. All right, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you see. And uh, I hope I hope you liked my analysis of Eminem. If Eminem ever finds this, I freaking love your music. So, all right.